Hi, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to share with you guys one of my go-to recipes for days when I think I have no food in the kitchen to feed the kids. It's these delicious pea and sweet corn fritters. They're made from just a handful of really simple ingredients and they're ingredients that I always have to hand either in the store cupboard or in my freezer. Okay, so let's get started. This is what we're going to need. Some plain or all-purpose flour, baking powder, an egg, some milk, some peas and sweet corn, and these are frozen, but you can use canned too, and a spring onion. So the first step is to sieve the flour and the baking powder. We're gonna sieve that directly into a large bowl. And then to that, we're gonna add our cracked egg and also the milk, and we're just gonna mix that together with a whisk until you get a lovely batter. We're then gonna stir in the peas and the sweet corn and also the spring onion and mix everything together. And that's it for preparation. They literally take just two minutes to prepare. Now to cook them, we're going to add a little oil to a frying pan. We're then gonna spoon in probably about a heap spoon of that fritter batter to the frying pan. And I'm able to fit about four per frying pan, but it will depend on the size of yours. We're just gonna gently press that batter down and then we're gonna cook it for about five minutes on each side, turning once. Then when the first batch is ready, simply remove them from the heat onto a plate, and then we're gonna cook the second batch. And I usually get about seven to eight fritters from the batter, just depending what size I make them. And that's it, they're now ready to serve. And for lunch, I like to serve them with a little bit of creme fraiche for dipping, or for dinner, I like to add a poached egg on top, which is really delicious. So I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, subscribe for brand new family-friendly recipes every week. And I'll see you next time.